With safety concerns a priority as the novel coronavirus circulates on three major islands, bus drivers are looking at instituting changes to keep the public safe once they're on the road again. Cleopatra Murphy has the story. A large section of the public is dependent on public transportation to get around. But once the economy fully reopens and buses are allowed to operate again, it may be under a radically changed system. Secretary General of the Bahamas Unified Bus Drivers Union, Corvell Colebrook, says discussions are underway on measures to operate a safe bus system while coexisting with COVID-19. We are um, talking about it through many of the bus drivers groups on um, what's up. Uh, some of the changes that um, we would like to see is probably putting the panel behind the, the driver and then of course uh, try to change the way payment is made. We would love to be able to go to a cashless system where there will be no hand-to-hand -hand movement between the driver and the passengers. While the public was used to crowned buses pre-COVID-19, Colbrook says that may be a thing of the past, even if for the short term. The next time you take a bus, there may be a lot more space between you and another passenger as drivers make the effort to protect themselves as well as their customers. It won't be allowed that everybody be sitting so comfortably until you probably get a vaccine for this virus. So uh, most likely we probably have about 10 to 15 persons on the bus per time. Now it's going to be a problem because uh, the way our system is set up where you have one company against another company, so with a quota system. So it will be a little bit hard to um, get this straight, but it's something that we all have to work out. While the many weeks off their bus routes has had an impact on their purses, the union representative says government made the correct call when it decided to shut down the public transportation system. When you do the research, it was 100% uh, the right choice. Uh, drivers around the world, especially in the U.S., are uh, uh, catching the COVID-19 and are dying. Uh, you know, from New York, um, Boston. And then when you check out the case down in Miami, they, um, they, their union has filed a lawsuit against uh, the mayor of, New York, of Miami because they have not provided any masks or hand sanitizer or gloves for their drivers. So uh, pertaining to the sickness that uh, um, drivers carry, um, diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, it, it is better that we be off the road at this time. Colebrook says while bus drivers want to return to work, they want to do that in a way that is safe for all. Cleopatra Murphy, Set and S Network News.